Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the, uh, what is the official uh, name of this event? Checker Car Club National Convention. Very good. And, uh, now you guys are touring all around. Right now we're at the AACA Museum in Hershey, Pennsylvania. And we're speaking with Michael from Yorktown Heights, New York, who has a very unusual 61 Suburbia. Now, Suburba. Suburba. I know, I keep messing it up. Suburba, thank you. What is so unique about the Suburba versus the Marathon and the other cars? The, 60, the Suburba was made between 1960 and 63 before the well-known Marathon. It was a stripped-down version of the Marathon. Ah, okay. So it's very um, plain in the inside compared to the Marathon. How much did it sell for new? Um, I'm not exactly sure. I think it was 2100 2100 So it's a pretty reasonable car yes, for the size. Uh, very remarkable. Uh, it's powered by Continental 6? Yep, Continental 6. Straight 6, and this is the 3-speed manual? 3-speed manual on the tray. It's wow. Tray. Unbelievable. Now, this was made specifically for uh, pedestrian, not for commercial right. use. It was, not for, it was not for taxi use, it was just for family use. That's amazing. Now, uh, tell me a little bit about the checker. What, you know, so what are some of the details that you'd like to point out to the general the non-checker? is well known for the grill. He's extra lights are what can distinguish a Checker Suburba versus a Checker Marathon, which doesn't have the lights. Gotcha. One of the biggest distinguishing features on the outside, the difference between the Marathon, which is his, and the Suburba, which is mine. Yeah, that's 61 and his is 62, obviously on through with the license plate. I, uh, if I may, could we open the door and uh, take a look at the interior? Go the other side. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here's the interior. There's an original dealer sign on the inside. No jump seats. No jump seats in this. Look how barren this is. Wow. Oh my gosh. Does have ashtrays. I love this sign. What a nice find. Original dealer sign. Mint condition. Wow. Where did that come from? Um, I bought it from someone in New York. In New York. Oh. And I bought the car after the sign to match the sign. Oh, but of course. <laughs> Look at this dash. My gosh. Unbelievable. Very plain, no radio. You're lucky you have the heater and the frost. That's it. That is it. It's very stripped down. Jeez. You have electric wipers? Um, vacuum assist. Vacuum assist wipers. Oh my gosh. Now, this is not your first checker. You were saying that you have other checkers. Yes, I own uh, two other checkers. Two 19, other checkers? Yeah. 1981 New York City original with 1.2 million miles on it. Oh, and God. a 1982 Chicago propane checker. Jeez. What got you into checker? Um, just loved them as a kid. I grew up in the New York City area and used to see them and decided I wanted one when I was older. Don't blame you. Really funky. What kind of reactions do you get when you're driving this uh, girl down the road? Thumbs up all day long. Whew. That is amazing. You know, they always say that these things are built like a tank. What I love is that the uh, taillights were all interchangeable. The front and rear bumpers were interchangeable. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the doors also are interchangeable? On certain models, yes. The, yeah. the, um, the extended versions yes. have larger doors in the back, but for these years, yes, they're interchangeable. Mm, fantastic. Girl Kalamazoo Cadillac. I love it. This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com. Speaking with Michael with the very rare... Oh, how many uh, suburbia... Sub, yeah. I think there were 2,000 made. Total. Total. Jeez. That is a very rare bird. Very few exist. Station wagons were more popular. Yeah. Uh, what kind of production numbers overall was um, Checker turning out at that point, do you know? That I don't know. Now we've got to uh, figure it out. Too cool. Well, have fun Thank here in Hershey. Thank you very much, Michael. This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2016 uh, Checker Show at the AACA Museum in Hershey, Pennsylvania. For all sorts of cool shows like this, make sure you tune in to NortheastWheelsEvents.com southeastwheelsevents.com and of course ukwheelsevents.com